Hello, everybody out there, and welcome to Fandom Spotlight's special show on what you all have hopefully gone and seen in the theaters already. Uh, we are talking tonight about Ghostbusters Afterlife. Um, so we'll talk a lot about uh, the whole entire franchise tonight. But before we even go into that, I want to introduce my awesome and amazing panel tonight. Uh, live from you all here is Jazz. Jazz, please introduce yourself. There is no jazz here, only Zool. No, ah, kidding. yes. Ah, I still know. Sorry, I was waiting for that all day. I had to go there. Oh, um. That was beautiful. I That's am jazz. Great. I love Ghostbusters. Um, this movie made me cry for many reasons, and I cannot wait to talk to you guys about it. Let's let's go. Awesome. Awesome. We'll hear more about crying in a bit here. Uh, Taylor, <laughs> if you can introduce yourself. Hey all, Taylor, Evero City Negan. Um Huge Bill Murray fan. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I will have a very positive review of this movie. <laughs> awesome. And live from a highway, we have Belinda. Hi. <laughs> she wins. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I pulled over <laughs> just to do this. <laughs> Just hopefully there won't be a lot of flashing blue and red lights that come up behind you, but it would fit if it did. So that's, that's it, a good it certainly thing. would. Yeah, amazing I got siren. I've got my amazing, you know, nice. muscle Ghostbusters shirt on. So all right. So before we even get into talk about the movie, let's talk about what brought us into this world. All right. What brought us into Ghostbusters? Um, whoever wants to start, let uh, you know let's, let's hear the stories. Would Bill Murray lady like to go first? <laughs> um for me it was my dad he has a huge love of bill murray and started that with me probably from day one although i wouldn't remember <laughs> um yeah and i've watched a ton of bill murray ever since and been a huge fan um got to show him my tattoo at some point and meet him real quick and i could not wait to see this film knowing that it was all kept in the family um you know jason reitman son of Ivan Reitman, um, all, all, all the good stuff and the people and everything coming back from this and direct sequel and just, it looked amazing. I had highest hopes for it and I was not disappointed at all. I love that you kind of buried the lead there. So you met Bill Murray. You're just going to skip that story. <laughs> like, let's go back just a little bit, way back when, when you met Bill Murray. Let's hear that story. Uh, he came to Portland and did a show. It was singing, talking um, pieces from books and poems. And he had a, it was a quartet. They had a pianist, a cellist, and a violinist. And it was a few hours and he did not have a meet and greet after, but I just waited afterwards and he finally came out. And my goal was to get him to sign my arm so I could get that tattooed. Um, but he just got bombarded, but I did get to stand next to him for like five minutes. I got to speak to him for a second and I was right next to him and showed him my tattoo. So nice. And you just the in show itself. Ear. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was great. And then I told my grandpa and he's like, Oh, I'm at Bill Murray. I'm like, <laughs> all right cool so <laughs> that runs in the family you're right yeah <laughs> i hope that's what you did too it's just like i met bill runs too cool anyway cool. grandpa like <laughs> like no cool story grandpa no story. <laughs> i love that i love that so <sighs> so uh belinda how about you what was first ghostbusters introduction to for you um my parents were one of those people who uh <laughs> Would record the movies off the television and and the Ghostbusters got worn out by me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> nice. <laughs> we need more of that in this world. We need. We, I miss the days of the VHS tape, right? Where you yes. had the where you <laughs> wrote down in a pen like the different. Yeah. Movies. And my favorite thing is they never matched, right? There was no, no reason no. for these three to be together. It's like Teen Wolf, you know, some random movie like TV movie like death stalker and then you know <laughs> Care, like the third one was care bears the movie you know right? they never yeah. made any sense yeah, yeah. and you I had to it. fast forward past the first two to get to the one you wanted i had the, the worst thing is my parents would sometimes record games or other tv shows so in the middle of the movie would be like five seconds of like this other you know 
it randomly cut to a, an Iowa Hawkeye football game for like five minutes. Then they realized they recorded <laughs> over something. And it would cut back nice. to the movie. And I'm like, what? <laughs> random. It's random stuff. But <sighs> awesome. Awesome. How about you, Jazz? I would probably have to say the, uh, um, gosh, I would, I'm guessing it's the 80s cartoons. Um, maybe the, they were the 90s. I was, I was a little young at that time. So it all kind of blurs together for me. But the, the cartoons brought me into it. And I just, I love Harold Ramis. I think he's a genius and he left us way too soon, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but this, this film, if you haven't seen it yet, why are you watching this and go see the movie now? Yes. <laughs> yes. hundred percent. Like literally spoilers stop watching, ahead. stop watching us now and just Are we go. avoiding spoilers then? Yes. No, no, not, not yet. The, no. I, no. no. That was your warning. No. That's your warning. Yeah. Spoilers. I can't. No, this is a spoiler show tonight. I'm going to tell our audience that right now. Uh, right now, we have a few people in the audience here. Uh, Leela yeah. Paris says, I had the Chinese store bootleg. Oh, yes. that's so awesome. I love that. You know, that's and it was great. always, and I always loved those because it, it was like Ghostbuster, but they'd have different images, mm -hmm. you know, throughout the different places. It's just fascinating. I love that. So I got into Ghostbusters. I actually love this. My parents rented from the local library. They didn't, you know, my parents couldn't, didn't, couldn't afford a VHS player at the time. We didn't see it in theater, but they actually rented a um, RCA used to have a, uh, the, uh, what was called a video disc. It was like the record size thing. And laser they rent, disc. Laser not, disc. Not laser disc. This is. No? This is b before VHS really took off. There was okay. a thing called the video disc, which was basically filmed, reeled through a record size thing. And <laughs> apparently they would rent the machine. And one of the movies they had was Ghostbusters. So through watching this Ghostbusters select division, uh, <laughs> long story short, eventually <laughs> led to my parents having to buy a used VHS player because I would watch this movie seven times a day. Nice. And I'm not making this up. When I literally say my first full sentence was this chick is toast. I would go, <laughs> I would too, too story. I'd go up to church ladies and I'd like tug at their skirts and I would say this chick is toast and I'd run away. <laughs> so, it's like your mic drop. It Chick's was toast. This chick is toast, and I bolt. Right, so so I was a Ghostbuster at heart. From the like fact that you said that to church ladies is amazing. I have to say, oh, yeah. no, yeah, I'd just be like, this chick is toast, and this three year old would like bolt with his rat tail and everything. <laughs> rat tail, lovely. No, Yo, that, that's your Padawan. I had I had a rat Great. tail down to the crack of my ass. It was oh it was in, it was impressive. Um, but but obviously Ghostbusters huge huge fandom for for a lot of us right i mean yes. we came into it not only did we have that we had the amazing cartoon show which i'm sure all of us have you know have a few good memories of but also yes. we had the toys i mean you know yeah. i i somewhere over here i have marshmallow which was my stay pup marshmallow man Aww. toy you know that was my stuffed toy you know <laughs> um but uh but anyway you know i I love that we all had come into Ghostbusters, but going into this new one, I I don't know. I you, I think Jazz, you said it yourself. There was one moment I cried, full on cried. How about I you was, all? But I was bawling I at the end. Just oh. it definitely pure hit me happiness. In the <laughs> so yeah, is this the cue to talk about the ending first or what? Because <laughs> <laughs> we're just might have know, to just to get it out. I think I think we yeah. So so so. <laughs> Plot of the plot of Ghostbusters Afterlife. For those of you who have not, if you're hiding in a rock and have not seen a trailer, <laughs> basically, uh, plot, of, Spangler, plot of Ghostbusters Afterlife. Lived in those of you have somehow or another, not, he left Ghostbusters, lived in the Midwest, and was in this town. We don't know why, but all of a sudden he passed away, and his daughter, who's who's kind of destitute, needs a place to live, brings her son and daughter, you know, Egon's grandchildren, to this small little town. Um, Obviously, there's a reason Egon Spangler's in this little town, and suddenly we have kind of a, I don't know, what'd you say, a mix of Stranger Things, you know, kind of kind of thing happening where we get a young group who kind of discovers this weird stuff, and the amazing Paul Rudd, we'll get to him, oh, yes. uh, him. in a second, <laughs> uh, but then literally, they've got to save the day, 
and yeah. you know, and they kind of get it. So basically, that's kind of the the the, the story. Um, uh, from before we even get to the ending, because let's save the ending <laughs> just a little bit. Killing me mm. over here. No, <laughs> Gozer is back. Mm. What do you all think of Gozer being being the main villain? I liked that everything was tied in together to the original. Like it wasn't just a random ghostbuster story mm. it definitely it had the roots like when they talk about the selenium metal and that's what the building in new york was made out of and that's why gozer was there in new york and now like e, um egon you know traced it back to this little town in the midwest somerville right yeah um and then that's where all of it came from was that mine and it was affecting the miners and they were committing suicide over this. And it, Egon like discovered this and had the protective, you know, barrier that he crafted together. And it was just like, I was just so happy that they took the time and the labor and the love to like really, really think about things and be like, okay, let's make this a logical next step in the franchise and not just throw a random ghost story out there for new kid ghostbusters to come in save the day blah 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 all right we're good you know like mm -hmm. they took the time and it really really showed and you can just see all the little details and story plots and everything just really tied together in its own way and back to the original and it was just it was great and I'm going to jump on what you just said on that because I that, that goes to you know <laughs> as I'm trying to get emotional again. Go figure. <laughs> um, having those tied back to the original show for people like us that grew up with th these stories is mm -hmm. a nice Easter eggy nostalgia, you know, little love letter to the fans and to yeah. the audience, your old Ramus as well. Yeah. Um, but they also made it kind of standalone-ish as well mm -hmm. in a way. So, you know, if you hadn't seen the other films, it would still make sense and you could enjoy it fully. Yeah. Which, absolutely. Like how they showed the little, um, the clips of the old commercials and the original team doing their thing in New York. And so it kind of, yeah, exactly. You don't have the to have seen bar. the original. <laughs> it was great. Like, and it was great how the kids are watching this on YouTube. Like... <laughs> Yeah, right. I, like, I, I love this that. This is my life. Mm. This is my children mm. watching my life on YouTube right now. <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> yeah. it was so, so good and so bad. I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, they did. I, I love the thing, you know, they made it a world that, you know, because it would have been so easy for them to kind of make it so we didn't know about anything that happened in New York. It was just like, yeah. oh, that was a long time ago. We don't talk about it. No, they're like, no, the great event of New York in 1984, right? this big event, like they, they like they kind of made it almost a 9-11, a, 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 a thing that was like, mem like memorialized. Yeah. And which kept it in the world because, you know, as we all know from the great Ghostbusters II, the city hates the Ghostbusters for that whole event, you know, a great to scene. destroy quite, quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, but I love that they, you know, of course that great party scene, you know, uh, something strange. Who are you going to call? He man. Uh, and Adele <laughs> <laughs> Avengers, obviously. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. They kept it in that, <sighs> that vein of like, no ghosts did exist. It's just, we haven't seen any in, yeah. in 30 years. And so there's no need for Ghostbusters. And and so that, that was very fascinating. I also love that, you know, the, uh, if you didn't notice this, Olivia Wilde actually was goes it was or was Zool. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, that's fascinating. You know, because yeah. I actually thought it was the same actress because she looks exactly like, you know, the one from 84. But um, did a good job. they did the, the, the makeup effects and the, and. Storyteller was great. I um, didn't realize that was her until I went home and looked up the cast list on Internet Movie Database. And I was like, yeah. what? Yeah, I didn't either. I, I literally thought it was the original. I'm like, oh, that's cool. They got her back. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it was a completely different person. So, you know, so what ends up happening, you know, it leads to this moment where, you uh, you know, we introduced to Paul Rudd. Um, now, what do you think of Paul Rudd in this movie? 
Loved him. <laughs> loved him so much. How do you not love Paul Rudd? I mean, loved the it. sexiest Paul Rudd can man do alive. In my eyes. Nope. <laughs> Not even Distress. Halloween. Not, not even Halloween. The Curse of Michael Myers. He I loved that. him in Halloween. Nothing. The Curse of Michael Myers. <laughs> he may be in some absolutely terrible films and shows, but he himself is always fantastic and a pleasure to watch for sure. He, yeah. he really is. I, <laughs> Jess and I were talking the other day. We're like that little strut he had going on. Walmart. <laughs> He's walking the Walmart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, his his obvious real life very very real life enthusiasm for being in this film and you can see and feel some of the lines for like jazz was saying like earlier probably just he made up himself oh and they yeah just kept it and he was just mm-hmm. so happy and one of my absolute favorite scenes is when they're in the jail and he's looking at the proton pack on the, the desk and he's just like yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then he walks away. <laughs> it's pretty great. He's such a fanboy. At this heart. is basically he was, us. He was. He was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's yeah. like how I would have been in that movie. I just would have been like, <laughs> "This is a proton pack." <laughs> exactly. I, uh, I know yeah. what that is. You have no idea, but I know what it is. I'd be so like, oh my god, they just use the- that. <laughs> just the other week we, we went to a halloween parade and they actually had uh in, in the local area there was a ghostbusters troop and they actually had a 59 cadillac ambulance they actually nice. had a, a real oh, wow, awesome. and as it's driving cool. past me uh my fiance had to actually film my face because she was laughing so hard but she didn't understand it i'm like yeah yeah and I was crying then I was crying yeah. on the streets of Oxford Pennsylvania going like <laughs> you know like we are Paul Rudd where it's like because then they you know the, they were handing out candy and all of a sudden they had the proton pack and I was and it lit up I'm like it's lights up oh my god <laughs> you know so so absolutely but if great- I had all of the money in the world I would go out and just have like a car show of like all these nerdy cars from all these films like the Ghostbusters Oh. We'd have like the Jay Leno garage of nerdy cars. Exactly. Sure. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that I would, would totally awesome. blow my money on is cars. <laughs> no joke. And I don't drive, you guys. So I mean <laughs> I drive them for you. <laughs> I would drive that car. I would drive that Thank car. You. And they were actually and these people are actually legit. I have to say that I, I don't even they're probably not even watching, but they were actually the Ghostbusters 2. They were Ecto 2. So they actually mm-hmm. had ah. like the slime bucket on top nice. and okay. like i was like all right kudos to you i see what you did there we have um, a chapter here in portland official ghostbusters really group. yeah oh, they're they're amazing they come to the conventions all the time well, have you, i think i saw that have you all yeah, seen a go- documentary yes that's what i was just gonna yeah. say but the, but the ghost heads uh i think mm-hmm. is what it's called yeah, it's a great documentary on netflix for those of you out there uh that actually talks about these troops that have come up and, and people yep. go and i love the idea of just you know going to the hospital and you know yeah. people just random people just dressing up as ghostbusters and going to the hospital to mm-hmm. say hi to the kids and you know just see the lights on their you know the faces yeah. when they when when that comes in that's a complete awesome thing and and all out of fandom right like it's all yep. out of just Absolutely. you know because we love. watch yeah yeah the, for the love of all of it um but but paul rudd is a substitute teacher and he and he has one of the greatest moments ever because i myself as a teacher we, we've all been there he's like hey your school has a great vhs player here's a story about a rabid dog and they <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and then you know, they're playing the chucky too and the um, child's play yeah it's like we've all had that teacher too. Like we, yep. we all know that that one teacher. But you know, because his whole focus is these earthquakes that are happening in this in this small little town. And of course, this is kind of how we connect with Egon's granddaughter, and and they, they kind of come forward, um, which eventually leads to them finding out that this amazing what this phenomenon is is happening, which is. Mm-hmm. Which I don't know. I'm 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 curious what you all think about because as a screenwriter, I have my I have my fandom part, and then I have my screenwriter head over here, mm-hmm. and they conflict a little bit about this part. But um, we find out that Egon Spangler has created this thing to keep the ghosts down. He basically yeah. created a big giant. Uh, yeah. What do you call it? Ghostbuster raid trap. 
trap that yeah basically like the beams <laughs> yeah these beams that keep these ghosts mm -hmm. underground and it creates these earthquakes yeah um how he did that i don't know but he but was then, a genius well, just leave it at that that's well i think because ray touched on that um because he when he was talking with phoebe mm. on the phone and she had used mm. her one phone call he was like egon one day we got up egon took everything and he was gone so he had all the equipment and he was i mean they were all smart in their own way but he was like the scientist dude yep. so it made sense that he would have been the one yeah. to go off and find like the epicenter of the gozer thing you know whatever <laughs> the fountain of souls from hell whatever yeah. they are you know you see them like coming up the thing and like make the trap and have the sensor for when they get too high to beam them back down and that's what's causing all the earthquakes and i love like the mom that first day of school she's like what are you doing here mm. oh you know to like paul red <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out like he's tracking this <laughs> too i loved i loved, um, I loved the scene of raise a cult book i honestly yes. it, was, it was like that was a moment in the theater i actually was like i think we've all been there where you have to go to the bathroom and I was about to like get up, be like, "All right, I, I just let me go so I can enjoy the movie." And I, I and I saw the phone call, and I was like, "Damn it!" Nope. And I sat right back down. I was like, I have to watch, absorb the pee back in. Oh, and, it, it, right, and I was like, but it was like, "There's Ray Stance," and it's so perfect that he would still be in this occult bookstore yeah. that yeah. we saw in Ghostbusters too. Uh, which was perfect, I thought. Yeah. You know, of, of that course, whole conversation still... though was just so heartbreaking. I was, it was. just like, yeah. it, it killed me. I'm like, oh, because I mean, you, you just want to think of these people as being friends forever, you, you, you right? Mean, and just, just to know that, you know, yeah, he just took our stuff and took off. And it's like, oh. And then oh, the he, Ghostbusters he, go bankrupt because we're too good at our jobs, too. Too I good at their movie. jobs, right? But he, like, gross. he tried <laughs> to explain, and they were like, no, we took care of it. It's good. It's yeah. done. And he was like, no, there's still a threat. And they're like, no, nah, it's good. So I can understand why he just grabbed everything and left because he was Absolutely. like, okay, I'm the only one who understands this. I got to protect the world, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Yeah, it, it it so it, yeah, it was so interesting that you know. So you find out the <laughs> Ghostbusters through this conversation are just they're gone. You know, yeah. Peter is. Well, I, I love that, and I love that he's teaching at Sunny Purchase. I, that was my favorite line. It's like <laughs> so specific of a school that he yeah. would be at Sunny Purchase. No offense, to any SP people out there, but uh, but as Fake was there, Winston's become a billionaire, right? <laughs> Which is Good awesome. Because I have always felt this way, and I don't know if others feel this way, but I always felt Winston Zedmore and Ernie Hudson always kind of got a little bit of a shaft in these movies. Yes, absolutely. Sure. Yes, 100%. Sure. You know, because yeah. if he's supposed, and I think, that, and I really believe this, the only reason I think was because he wasn't on SNL. He wasn't the comedian. He wasn't the Eddie mm -hmm. Murphy. Yeah. He was just an actor who filled in this role. But he was the outsider. He was the outsider. Yeah. yeah. And he, yeah. and he's there for us to connect. But I was like, even in the sequel, like he's just kind of, uh, you know, he's kind of in the background except yeah. for that amazing train. Scene. Correct me uh, if I'm wrong, but he wasn't like credited on the posters either of the other films. Never. Yeah. Never. Which I always was like, that's so like, that always really bothered me about that. It's yeah. Like I'm, it was. And I think, and I really think, I really wish they would bring out a poster that has the four, like they would just, digitally put in ernie hudson today you know they should redo it he's yeah. like the only one who goes to conventions basically he Dan is yeah. shows up every now and then bill murray is his no you know yeah. he's his own person yeah i want to take a few <laughs> seconds here on uh, in, in the chat uh chris webb says i was seven years old with eight siblings but in 84 my mom personally oh, took me to go see it i've oh. been a loyal fan ever since First That's off, awesome. your Goodness. mom is amazing. Yes. And, That's fantastic. That's and, fantastic parenting right there. Secondly, <laughs> what did she do with your siblings, though? <laughs> <laughs> That's an expensive movie trip. 
eight other <laughs> siblings, she can only <laughs> afford to take one. So she obviously chose her favorite. The rest of you fight over a TV dinner. Go. All right. right? <laughs> um, so so yeah, but I I've always I love the fact he was the billionaire. That 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 Zed Zed Moore took the, you know. Uh, he took all the money and made something out of it. Uh, and then Ray's there in the occult book. He's still there, kind of doing his thing, listening to podcasts. Which still I'm, hoping. That, still he's hoping. That one. Yeah. He's the one. The one fan. Um, that yeah. made me so excited that he was his that, one yeah. follower, subscriber. You're my subscriber. You're my subscriber. <laughs> yeah. So, so Belinda, <laughs> since you love, tell me about podcasts in this movie. You got to uh, tell the audience he, about podcasts. He podcasts. is absolutely adorable Mm -hmm. i could not get enough of him he's he he was my uh spirit animal he's just awkward (laughs) and and i was just so happy that phoebe found somebody that she could be friends with that was just as weird as she was Mm -hmm. yeah mckenna grace i'm gonna say it right now at 7 31 p.m on 11 22 21 she is going to win an oscar someday she Dude, bet. That, she bet. I it. love her. I love her in um, Haunting of Hill House. Sorry? I've been a fan of her since Gifted with Chris Evans. And I think that was oh. 2016. She, um, which is another, she's, she plays another little nerdy child in that too, kind of. So good. And like, there's that moment in this, in this film where like her facial expressions are just so much like her grandpa's. And I was I just feel- like, oh goodness. It was... I feel like she studied Egon from the movies Absolutely. down to like, yeah. and then like peering, you know, it was Absolutely. like his expressions, mannerisms, like the walk, obviously, you know, they like did her hair like him, but like, she really did a fantastic job yeah. of just, you could just look at her. If you and didn't you even know. know coming into the movie you'd be like oh that yeah fuck yeah that's egon's granddaughter no yeah. like are you kidding me no doubt yeah absolutely. like she was fantastic yeah. and not like a she better get an oscar like it's on her mm-hmm. like it's on them to give her one like she's yeah. done the job already fantastic. which was great which was great because you know they kind of matched everybody up you know podcast yeah. is definitely the, the you know the right Finn, yes, I thought Finn about Wolf, that too. Uh, Finn Wolf, uh, how do, what's his last name? Finn Wolfhard. 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 Yeah. Eh, you know, I think like I know he, I, I, he did good. I, I I'm sure he did, but he's solid. If he was trying to be Venkman, right? If there, I, mm-hmm. I I I just felt the one thing was <laughs> if he's trying to be a little bit more sarcastic, we could have had more mm-hmm. of that um, mm-hmm. to to kind of have that more comedic Venkman part. Uh, but then the girlfriend, um, I can't remember Lucky. her name now. Lucky, yes, thank you. Uh, she, you know, she's the Winston role. Like it was a really good like four match. If the audience caught it, and oh yeah, I caught on to that too. Yeah, it took me a little bit until they were in the restaurant in the diner. And they were kind of talking about what's going on, and I was like, oh, I, oh, okay, okay, I get, I, I get. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one guy in the audience. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I feel like if Paul Rudd hadn't been in the movie then Finn would have had some room mm-hmm. to grow and maybe yes. maybe fill in the shoes more. Although it's, it's Phil Murray. You can't fill his shoes. Only he yes, this is shoes. true. Yeah. But Paul Rudd being who he is and being such a huge nerd himself, like he really stole some focus away. And not that Finn didn't do a good job because he did, but I really felt the spirit of Bankman way more in Paul Rudd. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it was, and it was, and it was an interesting approach to, again, connect the younger audience with Fabi. Now, again, I, I, I think anytime you connect any of the cast of Stranger Things and something, it, it's, yeah. you know, it, it, it works because that's what we, yeah, we no, see that's it. my daughter. He's a stranger takes. Yeah. yeah, that's that's what they connect. <laughs> it, you know, and it worked in and it's funny for him because it worked in not only this, it worked in it, you know, when yeah. he played the, the Richie Tozier. It it totally worked. Mm-hmm. Um but so then you know, all of a sudden, you know, they're getting this, they're kind of becoming the Ghostbusters in a way. Yeah. Um, and we get this weird. I thought it should have been slimer. I could be wrong in this, yeah. but in the trailer, mm-hmm. you'll see a, a moment where they're shooting this, you know, they're at shooting the at a ghost. Yeah, yeah. In, the, in the streets. And it's this 
Slimer's Butcher. cousin. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Kind of yeah. And it was like, I was just like, you know, if you're going to go for the nostalgia, why not just do it Slimer? I mean, yeah. but obviously I haven't seen the toy lines. I don't go down the toy aisle very often anymore. Oh, but we do. I hear it. Is it there? I'm assuming it's there. Yeah, it's it's there. <laughs> okay, that see now that makes sense. That's yeah. that's the the studio heads going like, ah, we need a baby Yoda, you know, smoke right. a mess. <laughs> uh, but you got Slimer, you don't need it. I, I uh, mean, that's probably how perfect was Munker though, because of the it was a podcast that had the idea right, and he stuck his hand through the, the little yeah cage, let yeah. that Muncher and they can get what they need and get on with their business. That's probably the only reason Muncher was created, honestly, because Slimer for that one plot didn't, point. <laughs> he didn't eat metal. He slimed yeah. stuff, literally. So, like, Slimer would have been useless in that respect. No. But yes, I would have loved to see Slimer. I mean, they, they could have <clears throat> probably come up with a reason to use Slimer as opposed to a creature that eats metal. But you know, I, I enjoyed it. It was it was a nice new new thing yeah. to see. Yeah, yeah that's some new stuff. Yeah, and, and and so you know we get this nice moment where you know we we get to see the Ecto one. Now, yeah. when you saw the Ecto one, <laughs> did you was were you the one in the audience that oh, made yeah. the noise? Oh yeah, I was okay. the only one in my audience that was clapping like a crazy person and, and cheering and stuff. And I felt like a complete asshole for it, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> so you should have been with us because I was yeah, sick. <laughs> I was I was like Bobby. I was like Bobby in like King of the Hill, where it's like that's why I go to opening <laughs> night for people like that. That's why I, <laughs> I had a full on Ghostbuster. A guy, I was it was a four thirty showing at you know here in middle middle of nowhere Delaware, and this guy comes in full on Ghostbuster regalia, like, like actually had a full on pack and everything. Full on nice. pack oh. had had a that's awesome. He had the he had the uh, the visors. He actually yeah. had he had the the ray visors. He had a trap on this belt, and and I love this. He he I I I clapped at him. I was like, "Good for you, sir." We were like, he was it was like me, nice. him, and another random guy, and he's like, "Hey, you know what? I bought an extra seat just for my pack." Takes off his pack, puts it right next to him. I was like, "Social distancing still going on." And I was right. like, good for you, man. Good for you. Um, so so all of a sudden, you know, we get this really interesting part where basically it fails. And it fails because Paul Rudd, and again, if you are do not want spoilers, shut this off right now. I think we're past immediately. That yeah. I know, but I'm just I, I don't want to be accused. You know that guy. We all know that guy. I'm just That's saying. We second chance. Get get out of here. If you get out. Yeah. What are you just doing here? Go watch the movie. So right. Paul Rudd turns into the, the gatekeeper. gatekeeper. <laughs> you know, we actually he lost, his, he lost his little sleeves too. Did you notice that? Uh, I know. His shirt was all ripped. I his did. Hair. So Spangler. Oh my god, daughter, he's so much like the original too. Oh, that I know. So great. Spangler's daughter and Paul Rudd turn into the gatekeeper and the keymaster. Mm -hmm. uh, which basically welcomes on the rise of Zool and 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 the return of Gozer. And, and this is the only weirdest part of the movie. And then, you know, Kyle actually pointed this out earlier in the chat. Uh, J.K. Ro Simmons is in there for like, not J.K. Rowling. J.K. Simmons oh. is there for two seconds and then just gets ripped apart. <laughs> it <laughs> I loved it. He like he dedicated his life to building this temple for his <laughs> god, and in the hopes, like somehow kept himself alive for what like fifty yeah, that, years yeah, in his coffin that, thing. Yeah, and then and then like you know they come back. Oh, blah blah blah. <laughs> Just rip. Just like, together. No, I'm good. You know, the, the, Thanks, the, bye. <laughs> literally we get the you know we get the return of the flat top bitch she rips them apart and then right you know uh yeah. which is great and then pets the that dog. was great that was the best part <laughs> you're right and then pets paul rudd as a dog um yep. <laughs> so then this opens up the gate again and we get a great the only thing i was really hoping as a fan of the song uh you know there's that magic song in the original ghostbusters 
you know, the um, doom, 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 power of love, that magic wand that makes me sick. I really wanted that. <laughs> yes. I really wanted that song to play again because that's such, that's such an underrated song on that soundtrack. Um, but we, but we, but we get a bunch of these miners that returned, and mm-hmm. I actually got confused because I actually thought that it was the cab driver. For, for some odd oh, reason, yeah. like when I watched the trailer, I thought, oh, so all the ghosts that they captured in New York are yeah, going to come back York. out again. But it was a minor uh, at this diner. So all these ghosts come out and Ben basically, they've got to save the day. You know, uh, now this town is basically getting destroyed and, you know, they're they're running around they, and, and they go back to this house where Egon's been. And you find out the reason why Egon has been there. Yeah. He basically created his house to be a giant ghost trap. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and so, you know, they're all they're all there. And this is where I think no matter what, even if you don't like the movie, whether it's, you know, you, you, you take one side or not. But to me, this is the, the final 20 minutes of this movie is the reason everybody should go watch this movie. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Freaking Lutely. I you know, literally, when, um, can I just say it? Oh, please. Yeah, no, t- no. <laughs> You've been warned. Get out. We're telling you, get out. They're, if you don't they're want doing their thing. It's not working. And you hear that magic voice. Oh, and yeah. Ray <laughs> and Peter. Winston oh, show up. Oh. I jumped. That's not what I'm, I, that's not what I'm I, No, like I literally, I jumped out of my seat and I was like, yes! <laughs> and my husband's <laughs> like, oh my god. I, I was really they're kind of annoyed, like, where the hell have these guys been this whole time? And then they finally yeah. show up, I'm like, finally, yes! Ugh. Thank you. Oh my god. Was like, and oh it my wasn't, god, they got so old. Oh, it wasn't just like okay. a 30 second cameo. It was like minutes it was like 15 oh. minutes you know that, that we've gotten that oh. out of the way can we talk about the other thing <laughs> oh. <Yes. laughs> oh my god okay. i like so oh. this is your absolutely last chance to, to get out of this video if you're watching <laughs> because i'm about to drop something huge okay so you know the kids and everybody are all there and <laughs> you know they're all trying to do the Ghostbuster thing, and then the ghost of Egon shows up, right behind uh, the granddaughter, hold, helping her uh, hold hold it. And I, I screamed, I cried, I, I, I cried a, a lot. I, I was so glad that I was with, there by myself. <laughs> Coming out, um, and then when he joined the other three, and they yeah. all realized he was there with them, and they all, they all like look over. That's what got me. I'll be honest. I didn't cry. That was what really got me. That's what got it's when Winston looks over. And and I think that you know, as far as the script goes, I mean, Jason Reitman may and, and his partner did a wonderful script. I you know, it, it, it it's it's perfect nostalgia, it's perfect fandom, yeah. it's perfect newness. It it, yeah. it it gives you it really gives you everything. Um, but when Winston looked over and he doesn't say a word of dialogue. He just no. acknowledges it and they keep going. You know, it's just yeah. this yeah. one half a second where it's like, okay, there's Egon. Okay. Yeah. That's and where the, I that's where they I all cried. Had to say their goodbyes and everything. It was just, it was so yeah. remarkably and beautifully done. And that that's what made me love this so much. That's that's yeah. what made me, that's what sealed the deal for me. Well, and I and I did, you know, and I did a review about about the movie, and I and I said this, you know. When, you know, I was never around for Beatlemania, right? But I was around for Ghostbusters. And, you know, when Harold Ramis died, you know, I, I said it that day. I said, you know, I, I texted a friend of mine uh, who we love Ghostbusters. And I said, the Beatles will never get together. Again. Yeah. I, I never I mean, ever saw this happening again. Yeah, it just, it just, we knew then and there, we're never going to get the Beatles back together again. It's like when John Lennon died, it it was, you know, it was sad that John Lennon was gone, but you just realized the Beatles could never reunite. And for us, it was the Ghostbusters, because there's all those years of this might happen. And there's, you know, if if, if you go on the internet, there's Ghostbusters, you know, three hellbent, you know, where hell's on earth and 
And that was a script Dan Aykroyd worked on for years. And they couldn't get Bill Murray because this is during the angry Bill Murray years, which I, he's calmed down. I don't know what, what it is lately. He's calmed down. <laughs> you know, it's but, just he's, they're all getting old. That's what it must be. You know. He doesn't have time to be angry. He just has time to be fun now. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And, the, and you know, and then they did the, the video game, which, you know, was mm-hmm. great because they were all there, including yeah. Harold Ramis. We got all the voices, but it's a video game. It's a video and, game. And even now, when I watch, you know, when I watch Afterlife and you're seeing it, it's not the same. But, you know, the Beatles released that song, Free as a Bird, in the 90s. Mm -hmm. And it was like, the Beatles did get back together. It wasn't the same. Yeah. But it was good to hear that song. And that's how I felt watching this. I'm like, I got my Ghostbusters. It wasn't the same. But just that that four shot, they actually had one shot in the movie where it was all four yes. of them mm-hmm. lined up. And it was just, oh, I'm getting teary-eyed about it right now. I, you know, me too. I couldn't. Can I? So for me, I'm probably going to I'm, I'm going to cry right now. Um, <laughs> We're all should cry. Let's just get it over with. Let's, let's just, just all cry. Just, I'm crying right now. Um, just, but Belinda, don't let somebody stop like... you. <laughs> I know, I'm like, up like in a car. <laughs> I'm in Philly. I'm just hoping not to get robbed. Okay. <laughs> Please don't. don't get drive off. No, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Taylor. Go ahead. Um, Bill Murray is just like he's such an important part of my not my family, like me and my dad. Like we don't have the best relationship, and I'm really glad that bill is who he is and made my dad fall in love with him when he did so that he can share that love with me and i got to take my kids to an actual fantastic ghostbusters film and i had my daughter sitting next to me and she's special needs like very 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 special needs um and I've never felt that she was excited about Ghostbusters. She'll watch it when we put it on and she knows how much I love Bill. And, but we watched this movie together and she was sitting next to me and she's leaning forward the whole time. <laughs> and all these parts, especially the end, and she'd be like, yeah, yeah yes. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. Oh my oh. God. And I'm like, the whole thing. And I was like, we came out of that movie and I was like, did you like that? And she's like, yes, I loved it. And I was just like, like the end Mm -hmm. of the movie, like the credits and the song started going. Mm -hmm. People did their general. Oh, yeah, great movie. And like, I just started singing it. I was like, there's (laughs) no way I'm not going to sing this song. (laughs) And then finally, like people are getting out of their seats and they're like, they start singing the song. And my husband's like, oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but like for me to be able to share something as important as this like mm. the four of them getting back together after all of these odds like bill murray like oh i'm never gonna do this again like he no. i'm pretty sure he'd said that at some point like this is not gonna happen again yeah. and it did and like i just started crying and my husband he what's wrong and i'm like i'm just so happy <laughs> say, when i was sitting there watching it like a few hours before you went to go watch it oh. with your family i was like man i wish i was thinking of the taylor right now because yeah <laughs> it's just it's that good it really is it's that, is that good. good it's that important and i didn't think about it ian until you said it like they may not feel like it but they are basically kind of our version, our generation's Beatles. It was, yeah. It was it our family. It really, really is. And I did not think about that until the movie ended. And I, like, it was just the the weight, the weight, you know? Yeah. Chris, uh, Chris Webb says, uh, uh, guys, you're making me cry. You know what, Chris? Cry with us, baby. <laughs> cry, <laughs> please. Man. Make like me feel better about crying online. <laughs> you know, and I saw a meme today. It was like Jason Reitman making people cry since 2021. It's like, yeah, you did. Like, you know, you, you absolutely in, in the best way possible. In the best yeah. way. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. making like 
last year was such a sh- fucking shit show and this year was only like <laughs> yes. nominally better like we've seen a few movies in the theaters over the last couple months but this movie has given me a little bit of myself back to myself um it made me feel like things are happening again and getting good again does that make sense yeah. like oh, it was yeah i was i mean it was interesting too because I've, i haven't seen a movie in the theater since the beginning of the pandemic you know and wow. and you know i'm a film teacher and i was talking to the students i'm you know they would go to theaters and i was like i don't want to risk it i want and i was like yeah i'm gonna go see this i have to go see this you have you know? to I, you know, I have a request. For please go though. see this movie in the theater. Yes. <laughs> you, need, you need to take a VHS and a TV and show them Cujo. I'm just saying. Oh, right. I know, right? <laughs> Cujo's on the list. You know how much my daughter loves uh, Stephen King. I almost said Steven Spielberg. <laughs> yeah, but it, it it was. It was just this, this awesome moment that I, and I agree. Probably the younger kids, like, they're probably sitting in a theater, like anybody between the ages of like five and. What's you know, wrong with these older people? Yeah, man? yeah, and we're all just like, "Shut up, dude!" <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it. Shut up. At least my kids got it because they understand my love of Bill Murray and they love him too. But like, probably any other kids are not going to understand yeah. the yeah. the importance of this. Well, you know, like Please. little three, like little three year old Ian is watching it. And I and I'm hearing him. He's that's yes. who's crying. You know, right? me watching this yeah, movie absolutely. over and over again. And and you know, it's not like you know, it's it's kind of interesting, you know. Uh, you know, now and I and I hope they don't do this, I'll be honest. I really hope Ghostbusters doesn't turn into Star Wars. Like, yeah, you know, for I years, for years, Star Wars, it was like you had your three movies, that was it. Yeah. Right. And then all of a sudden. It was like we had another three that took some time, but it was like now there's like a Star Wars every year and there's something new and it's all and it's like I don't want a Ghostbusters movie every year. I don't want I that. Know. I will say I did kind of get the vibe like, ooh, maybe they're setting up for like Ghostbusters, yeah. the new crew. They are. Yeah. They, they are. Yeah. They definitely yeah. are. Yeah. And, yeah, and the, just a side note, like when you mentioned the minor or the minor, the cab driver ghost, right? And how you mm-hmm, thought yeah. that that might have been so my thought is the original ghosts weren't there because that's not where they are they're I, in new york yeah, yeah. so yeah. so okay so very 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 last chance to get out of this chat like <laughs> get oh, out. all of you get so, out credit credit number one after oh, credit number one let's talk about is, these now yes I gotta, I gotta goes say into the firehouse into the basement looks blinky at light. the panel red blinky light yeah. all those fucking ghosts are still in there absolutely why do you think winston bought that firehouse yeah mm-hmm. he's setting it up he knows they know they saw you know what 1984 2021 and there was more dates there's more yep. coming around he's yeah. setting it up he's gonna get his crew his school of Ghostbusters, which where the fuck do I apply for that? <laughs> so like, <laughs> Hook and ladder, Fifth it's Avenue. Happening. <laughs> yeah. It's well, happening. that was well, that was a funny thing. You know, like the next day, you know, it was, it was really awesome to like. Oh, mm, I might get emotional about this, but like, I got to like talk to my parents about Ghostbusters. You know, and they're my poor parents for years have said like we can't watch Ghostbusters anymore. You ruined it. Like they don't. You know, they, I want you know. <laughs> And and so like the next day, my mom and dad went to the theaters to watch it because I was calling them and I'm crying. I'm like, oh my god, you go. oh, you know. And they went to go see it. My mom's calling me and talking about how much she loved it. But the funny part, I bring that up because she was sitting there in the theater and she's looking at the credits and she all of a sudden it said Sigourney Weaver and she looked at my dad. And yeah. She goes, Where was Sigourney? It's loudly. <laughs> right? My mom is very loud. She's like, Where was Sigourney Weaver? That's Boom. how I they- was. <laughs> They cut right to right the great the probably the best moment of Bill uh, Murray in the whole movie where he's that was fantastic that shocked. was so good you are the <laughs> she <card>. just kept <laughs> shocking him. you marked the cards no I did no, no. <laughs> I did not 
<laughs> I would never. Yeah. So yeah. I'm curious. She was wearing a wedding ring. Mm. And I did not think about it because why would I during the film? But I looked back online over yesterday and today. I cannot find a picture of Bill in this movie as Peter wearing a wedding ring. Mm. But she is. So are they Sometimes dudes don't wear wedding together? Rings. Or are they still just good friends? Mm. I'll bet you I'll, I guarantee you because the one thing we didn't get well it's a couple things we didn't get we didn't get Lewis we didn't get Lewis Scully um, which you know because Rick Moranis just did not want to participate he said it there um, oh uh, Chris Webb said I couldn't get through the post credit scene with Winston my friend totally had to carry me out <laughs> poor, Chris, poor Chris we were all there buddy don't worry like we were all there yeah. I was um, the only one there to the very very end so we were our, the only ones there to the very end. There was yeah. a few other people for the first end credit, and then they yep. left. And I was like, "Those idiots!" Well, <laughs> and then the second one came up, and I was like, Mar- "Marvel so changed smart. it. You got to save the credits." I now. did. I literally I, said, "I said Marvel has ruined end credits for everybody <laughs> for every movie." <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. You, I said that to my kids, and they were like, mm-hmm. "No, we." Although I will stay. say this, I did want Janine Melnitz. <laughs> I wanted her to look like Ghostbusters 2 Janine Melnitz With instead of Ghostbusters. Bob. I wanted the bo- I wanted the whole cartoon Janine Melnitz. I wanted that. <laughs> you know. um, I was just happy she was in it. I, I love that. I love they got It was a nice everybody. little touch. Yeah. 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 I, you know, and, and it's and what's interesting is I, you know, you're talking about the white ring. I guarantee you, whatever the future stories are, mm-hmm. Oscar is going to be one of those storylines. He has yeah. to be. Yeah. Some, He's got to be. Some, Something about Oscar will be somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they have her in it. He's got to be. Yeah, you know, because that was the one thing, too. I wish Sigourney Weaver was in there just a little bit more. Absolutely. Just a little bit more. Um, Maybe but, the next but we, one. That, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that it's going to be kind of this. But the, the only other thing that I thought, though, um, and I'll be honest, I because I do agree against the Internet. I, I didn't hate the the 2016 ghostbusters you know with with Kristen no. wig and and mm-hmm. and and i don't want to call it the female ghostbusters i hate when people do that it yeah. it, was, it just was a ghostbusters movie thank you exactly exactly um i just didn't think that they kept if they had kept it in the world of ghostbusters one and two mm-hmm. and that it was a continuation i think yeah. fandom would have been within it i think they yeah. would have been with it yeah um Hopefully. It just wasn't. It just wasn't the same. It was a different kind of kind of thing, and I almost wanted some nod to that Ghostbusters movie. I wanted yeah. something in there, but obviously the studio just kept. You know, the, the, I I think the ruling was don't mention it. You yeah. know, it didn't um, happen. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's can you, you didn't see anything. Can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine though? Just like at the very end of Winston opened that gate and the car drove in, and it was Leslie Jones who got out of the car. Uh, I was just been like, right. Oh. Well, because like, in that movie, she's like, "Oh, my uncle has this old car." Yes, that's what I'm saying, yeah. like, <laughs> that would have been perfect. Yes, I was actually hoping that she was going to be the one to drive that in. So I like, know. I just wanted something. Perfect something from that from that movie yeah. with it within here just to just to say hey we realize the internet screwed up like yeah. it's not your fault but you're still here you know yeah. we got to move forward from you but we're not going to forget you that was that was my husband not- and I were were talking about that exact thing actually um saturday night and he was saying he felt that the third movie was like a parody of an snl skit Mm. which are parodies and that's why it wasn't very well received because it was another snl thing with all of them being in it you know and all of them themselves are fantastic and together i felt it it was a very fun entertaining movie but as far as ghostbusters goes it wasn't Mm -hmm. great and that's where it skipped and people didn't like it because yeah. of that, I feel like, and that's why people are just like, you know, we just we just don't talk about that. You know, that's like the black sheep of the family. <laughs> right now, when you were talking about that, like 
how, how like the majority of these people are FNL people that were in this film. And it's like, wait, so was the original. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of its own weird little nod to itself. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that was just the only thing I felt missing from this one. If, if there was just a, a way to tie and maybe hopefully in the other ones, they'll do something to acknowledge, you know, that, that it's there, you know, yeah. because, because we all paid to go see it. We all went to 2016 and whether you liked it or not, it did give you some nostalgia. It did give you yeah. some, something for your childhood to be like, Oh, this is Ghostbusters, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, you know, but, but, but overall, I, I mean, honestly, for me, this was a, this was like a five out of four. Yeah. You know, I mean, this was a, it, 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 like I said, it did everything we wanted. You know, it gave us it gave us newness. It gave us fandom. It gave us Easter eggs. It gave us Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. It gave me. It gave us Egon. Yeah, it gave us. It gave us. It gave us hope and resolve and just looking forward to the future, which is I hate to be realist, which is what we need right now. We need all the love. We need all the fun. And we need all the hope of looking ahead and being like, things are going to get better again. And I feel like this was the perfect movie for the end of this year, the end of this time frame. <laughs> you know, like it was just, it was perfect in of itself. And it was perfect just to go see that kind of movie right now in life. Like, yeah. go see this movie. Yes. <laughs> what are you still doing go. here? Go. <laughs> yeah, well, you should have left like Don't an rent you it, left 20 like, minutes ago. AMC <laughs> at home or whatever it is. Like, I'm actually planning on seeing it again. Fucking theater and Same. Go see it. I, I kind of want to see it. This again. time with my nephew so that I can watch it. I wanted it in, uninterrupted. So I'm I went gonna... with my husband and then now we can take the kid. <laughs> nice. I, I'm going to sneak into the last 30 minutes. <laughs> just the last 30 minutes just the last 30 minutes that's... the real <laughs> death though is if you see it again and you cry again that, that's the thing oh I will well, I know of course that. I'm going to like, now I need that to, I know you know I'd like that's the one memory I miss I like I wish I was you know there in Iowa that I could have gone with my mom and dad to see their mm-hmm. reaction yeah. Yeah. from watching it like I, I really wish I'd been able to see that I wanted you know? to take my dad so bad ah oh, that yeah. would have been just awesome but but so again that, I think a solid movie. With me. I uh I I was so excited when I got back from the movie and my dad was there and I was like so um because I, I was really I want to tell him the ending so bad. I'm like, there's, there's no chance I can take you to go see this. He's like, no. I'm like, fine. This is what happens. <laughs> I know my dad kind of said things like, I was like, dad, are you going to go see it? He's like, I've seen it before. I'm like, dad, come on. Like, this is no. the thing. You know? Yes, you've seen Ghostbusters. You have not, but not seen, this. seen this one. Before. You know. No. Uh, no. But and, even my mom and dad, they were saying the same thing. They were just like, oh, no, that we were, we were, it was tearing up at the end. That was really cute. How they and did. how perfect was Ghostbusters Afterlife as a title for this film for those, yeah. those right? last 20 minutes that we got? It was. It, it was complete. I mean, honestly, it was like that to me was worth all, the whole price. It's like you know, exactly. the, the rest of the movie, like I said, was great. It was good. It, it fit in the world. It gave us that what would be 30 years later. Mm-hmm. But that last 20 minutes is like, oh, just it, it's like yeah. a ride. At, it was like a ride at Universal. Just yeah. that, that that 20 minutes. Like could have right. been the whole movie. I still would have paid twenty dollars to go see just 20 minutes. Yeah. I do not, I'm not the kind of person that goes out and buys film like DVDs of movies to rewatch over and over again. I'm gonna go get this one though. Oh yeah. No, I'm buying this as soon as it's like available yeah. in pre-order for sure. Whatever special edition with everything, it's, how it's good gonna go thing. it's gonna go right on my shelf with all my bills. <laughs> so so as we're wrapping up here final final kind of thoughts what is going to be ghostbusters for hmm. i don't want to go first you don't want to go first is that what you said <laughs> well, i'll go for I'll, i will say this like i said okay. i th- i definitely think within the next two years uh, cause I, I tend to think more like the business of a studio. And I think in about two years, we're going to get another Ghostbusters movie within this world. I think Jason Reitman will produce it. I think that this ghost corp that they've created, um, 
But I think it'll be a younger version of the franchise. I think we'll yes. actually get a New York story. Yes. With another group of kids. I don't know if it'll be McKenna Grace. I don't know if it'll it be. It better be McKenna Grace. I'm sorry, but it better. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel about I it. Think, okay. I think they're going to show up at the end, just like our Ghostbusters showed up at this one. Okay. I think I, they'll I, pop I can, up. I can be okay with that. Yeah. I guess. But I think it'll involve something with Oscar. I think we will have a couple returning. I don't think you'll get another Bill Murray. I think Bill no. Murray, I think Bill Murray said his piece and we love him that he did it, but I think he said his piece. That was the perfect ending to usher those guys off. It, yeah. it was perfect. And if none of the three of them are in the next one, I am, I'm okay with that. Like, yeah. of course I always want to see Bill on screen, but nothing can top this for them yeah. for them to come back after that i think it will tarnish that and it just it's not it's not going to be as good i would like to see it be like where phoebe is going thinking Ooh, about college that's good. next step like she, she's going to graduate Obviously. school early right she's going to be one of those kids that graduates high school and like her freshman or sophomore mm-hmm. year something um and maybe she gets hired by winston to run mm-hmm. the ghostbusters headquarters and then it's this is like that spawns it off you know and then we get oscar and whatever the next thing is i would love are you listening jason her. reitman this is gold <laughs> and he's <laughs> proven himself i feel i am i'm very comfortable and happy if they do something else with him at the helm keeping it in the family there's side side off of that there's a reason why Shit's creek is so fucking phenomenal is because all of these talented family mm-hmm. members work together to create a labor of love yeah. and that's what ghostbusters did this not blood family but it's a family and they created a labor of love same thing and there's that's that's why it's just so fantastic and if they're going to do that again i'm i'm so happy for it i want it i want it to happen again take my money i'm sold yes take all my money please. <laughs> take all my money <laughs> linda what do you want out of ghostbusters <sighs> for i mean i i think that winston's definitely gonna be bankrolling everything and they've already made that yeah. clear yeah um it'll definitely be in new york um Mm -hmm. and the thing is the the family is from new york and that farm is falling apart so i wouldn't be surprised if if they if they move back to new york and and pick up where where they left off oh and janine can be like the manager again (laughs) oh my god (laughs) see we're ready ghostbusters what do you want but only if she's (laughs) ghostbusters too janine i will accept no other janine You missed that bob. I want hot pink colors. I want all of it. All of it. Oh, she could she could have like a calendar and each month is like her different outfit or something. <laughs> you know, in the back behind her, her desk. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I love that. Jazz, how about you? Um, I'm hopefully uh, so I Hopefully we get more Paul Rudd because we always could have some Paul Rudd in our life. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> he was um, so good. <laughs> he probably won't likely be in it, but you know, yeah. that's, um, I, I definitely think that out of the four and he also, Ernie Hudson, we'll see more of Ernie Hudson. I think he yeah. definitely deserves to go on yeah. um, from, you know, the previous since there, there have been sort of issues with that. Um, (laughs) and I absolutely love the idea of like them moving into that old building and just bringing it back. I I absolutely adore that. And yeah, I mean, I guess we'll find out. I would love to. We will. Trevor, Trevor is a tinkerer. He was fixing up the Acto. He's gonna like, he could help fix up the building. Phoebe could be like the main Ghostbuster. Janine will be running the show. Winston's the bankroller. Oh my god! And podcast is broadcasting <laughs> all podcast the time. Yeah, just time. doing his <laughs> thing, you know, exactly from like the top of the roof. So he gets the best signal doing his podcast. No, he'll be with Ray. Ray will be like his his I don't know something. His mentor. Yes, his mentor. Thank you. Thank you for the words. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Well, oh my look. God. 
I think we're at time here all, but I want to thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you, Jazz, yeah. Taylor, Belinda. And the reality is, who are you really going to call? You're going to call Fandom Spotlight. All right. For any <laughs> of your needs, for any of this stuff. Um, please follow us, subscribe us. We're on YouTube. You can see us on fandomspotlight.com. Um, but follow us there. Also, later tonight, you can actually watch another awesome series. Um, the uh, group is looking at the director's cut of Rocky IV, the Drago version. <laughs> you sound so happy about it. <laughs> I saw my win. Promote it. Sell am, it to the viewers. All right. Look, I think there's, he chose look, back chunks. There's two <laughs> things that you can do tonight. You can wash your socks or you can watch that episode. Either one will be entertaining and worth it. Um, but it's a terrible idea. It's a horrible movie. And like anyway. I'm sure the chat will be the fun. chat will be amazing. That's what I was just about to say. Yes. Um, but do watch that tonight. Um Anything you all want to promote? Anything happening? Anything going on in in y'all's worlds? <laughs> uh, not much. I'm okay. at City well, Negan on Instagram. Yeah. Got a convention coming up at the end of January. I'm sure the Ghostbusters Portland crew and the yes. 501st Legion will be there Fan as Expo always. Portland, Fan Expo Portland, yo. Yeah, things are happening again, and I'm very happy. <laughs> awesome Same. awesome well thank you all so much for joining us in the chat tonight go out and see ghostbusters afterlife it will yeah, be game, worth... even if you've seen it before and if yeah. we spoiled it because you know what there's some things you didn't miss some of you went to the bathroom some of you got ate popcorn it fell on the floor you missed something <laughs> go support this movie so yes all <laughs> right well on behalf of F fandom spotlight i'm ian clink thank you all again and have a great rest of your evening